Hello and welcome to a Let's Play Football Manager 2017 series on my channel and I'm playing with my favourite team, Wolves. Uh, we're going to be doing this for now for the next couple of weeks oh, until the Football Manager 2018 comes out and while there's no actual football to be talking about as well. So let's get straight into it and I'm going to show you the transfers and who we've managed to bring in. So quite a lot of players uh, spending 7.75 million and getting rid of 2.4 million spans worth because we've sold Dominic Iorfa to Southampton. Um, he wanted to leave and I thought I could probably cash in on him and be able to buy one or two more players. You can see here, our top signing is Gary Hooper from Sheffield Wednesday. I thought that we needed a somebody who could finish. Um, he's not particularly quick but he could finish in good anticipation so he's the sort of player that I thought we needed to get in uh, spent quite a lot of money on him though 3.2 million and I believe he's injured already um, yeah he's injured for two to three months so he's out which is not a great start but we have signed two other players on permanent deal or three players on permanent deals Magnus Wolf Ekrem from Malmo He's a centre midfielder, attacking midfielder, again with great statistics, uh, some really good technical and mental attributes there for a championship player, but I also signed him because he's got the name Wolf. Um, Christian Batocchio is another centre midfielder with a good first touch and pass in for the championship, that's really good uh, statistics there. He was at Watford a few years ago. But didn't quite make it there. I've also signed this player, Roland Juraz, a Hungarian defender, just to give a little bit extra cover to those uh, Danny Bart and Courtney Hawes. Not brilliant stats, and he's really slow, so I don't know w whether I'll be using him a lot. But Daniel Johnson and Max Power as well from Preston and Wigan on loan for the season, uh, as recommended by my scouts. So they might be playing a bit as well because they have been quite good in pre-season pre-season as well quite mixed a uh, couple of well, big wins there the last one as well against Lulatano 4-0 um, win there Ivan Cavalero, Joe Mason and Daniel Johnson scoring twice but it's been quite difficult to get a sort of balanced squad at the moment a balanced team been quite a few injuries uh, but I've tried to bring in a few young players that we've seen in real life as well. Morgan Gibbs White, uh, Connor Ronan, and Niall Ennis have all come into that the setup as well. Whether they will actually play, I don't know. Uh, tactically, we're going with uh, this four-one-two-three formation. Uh, it's worked with differing success at the moment. We'll see how the season goes as to what we need but at the moment it's working okay uh, unfortunately David is not playing as much as I would like because of these other centre midfielder players that we've got who are better better quality at the moment team instructions as well we're trying to exploit the wings that we've got uh, with Costa and Cavaliero both fit and both playing Joe Mason and Bod Varson have been interchanging as well so we'll see whether we can make anything happen there um, Right, so it's time for the first game of the season, which of course is against Rotherham, and I'll see you then. Okay, so here we are on match day. We've got quite ambitious uh, targets set from the board. We've got to win promotion, reach the sixth round of the FA Cup, and reach the quarter final of the EFL Cup. We've still got a little bit of transfer budget left, but whether we'll actually spend that, I don't know. We'll have a look in the first couple of games, see if there's anybody that we need to improve on. Courtney Hawes is only fit for 60 minutes, but he will be starting for me today. Um, Mike Dean in charge as well as so a big time referee. This is the team that we're going for. But Varson up front, I'm not going to play him as a poacher, I'm going to play him as a complete forward to try and uh, exploit that. We've got Helder Costa and Cavalier on the wings. Wolf Eichrem in the attacking midfield. Bradley Johnson, sorry, not Bradley Johnson, what's his name? Daniel Johnson and Romain Sice as quite deep playing uh, centre midfielders. And then a back four of Borthwick Jackson, Hawes, Bath, Silvio, and Akimi in goal. The uh, bench is where we got Lonergan, Juhas, Batocchio, Weiman, Stearman, Edwards and Mason. So we've got good variety on the bench as well. And we're going to hopefully get a good result here against Rotherham. So coming up against the Rotherham team playing 4-1-2-3 against our 4-2-3-1 formation. We're not going to not going to bother with any uh, instructions there. Um, 
but I'm going to calmly tell them to go and, go and give these fans their money's worth. I'm going to try and get some green on here, get them to be wild up for the game, looking for a win. There we go then, everybody's feeling quite good, good morale at the moment. Uh, just to let you know as well, my graphics card is not very good, so that's why there's no crowd. Hopefully I'll be uh, investing in one of those over the summer ready for Football Manager 2018. But here we are playing in our changed green kit, which everybody hates, and Sice gets the early ball into the box there, but Camp deals with it quite well. We're playing on the counter here, um, looking to just catch Rotherham on the break. We've got some really quick players out on the wing, so we can maybe exploit their fullbacks. We've got a corner now, and we clear it away as Frecklington and Taylor combine on the edge of the box. Ward crosses the ball in, and it's straight to Akimi. Ward in the box now for Rotherham and they square it and they score. I'm just so bad at this game. Right, 20 minutes in, we haven't had a shot. We haven't, well, we've had a shot now. Um, not playing particularly well, but here's Cavaliero and Silvio combining on the right hand side. Can he get across in? He can. Cavaliero and Wolf Eichrem that gets the equaliser on his debut. Um, that's why we signed him. But yeah, our first chance from Silvio crossing the ball in. Cavaliero then. Spotting Wolf Iker, who was completely unmarked, and an easy tap in for him. So 1 1. Haven't really deserved it though, rather have played better and had far more chances. But playing on the counter attack, those sort of th goals are what we're going to get, and we, you know, we're going to concede a lot of possession and a lot of chances. But we need to make sure that we can take our chances when they come. So 1 all going into half time. Let's see if we can change it a little bit. We're not. Maybe we'll change to standard and uh, just try and keep possession for a little bit because we haven't had any possession at all, really. We'll see what happens here now. Oh, Helder Costa picks up the ball early on. Johnson, both with Jackson, back to Johnson, Costa. Runs straight into his man, and now Rotherham come away. His ward uh, straight to Dakimi. All those shots on target that we've seen tended to be like that anyway, so there's no real danger. But here we come. Here's Cavaliero running at their fullback, it's into the box. Sylvia picks it up, crosses in, and Bob Varson scores to turn it around. So he scored on his debut as well. Ivan Cavaliero again causing their fullbacks trouble. Silvio again. With a cross into the box and Bodvarsen there at the near post with a tap in this time. So a good comeback. Got to make sure that we can hold on to this now. Just going to make a change. Courtney Hawes hasn't been 100% fit uh, recently. So he needs to be coming off now. He's played well, 6.7 rating. Silvio, of course, with the assist and somewhat of a pre-assist uh, for the first goal as well. So he's played really well. Can we get a third now? Okay, well, let's just make sure we don't concede a second. Sice wins the header there, but rather than still have possession, Morris now. Keeping them at arm's length, and Silvio deals with that well. Now can we break? Costa plays it out wide to Cavaliero. Holds it up and plays it forward to Silvio, who's had an excellent game on that flank, and he pulls it back, and it's in! It's Helder Costa at the back post to make it 3-1, and three debut goals for those players. And let's just shore things up by bringing on uh, let's give him his debut Roman Sice played very well then managed to get um, get the ball forward actually hold on don't want to do that we want to bring on another defensive minded player who have we got uh, let's bring Dave Edwards on just for some legs uh, and let's drop Bradley Johnson back to a uh, ball-winning midfielder. So we've got two ball-winning midfielders now. Not perfect, but yeah, it's Silvio again causing damage down that right-hand side, crossing to the box, but Varsen's shot was blocked, but then Helder Costa at the back post with a good finish, and Lee Camp couldn't do anything about that one. Uh, so 3-1 to Wolves. Some really tired legs out there now. I'm just going to make one more change, and it's going to be our other new man, uh, 
Christian Batoccio coming off a Wolf Icrem who scored in his debut and has played quite well. Uh, 7.3 rating. Held Costa, in fact, with the highest rating, 7.9. Here's a chance. Can we get a fourth goal? Or is this going to be the final highlight? Both with Jackson wins a corner. We are not going to have time for the corner, but a good win to start the season off. 3-1. Fantastic performance from Silvio, I thought. Really dangerous on the right, combining with uh, Ivan Cavalera. But Helder Costa is one of the match with his goal. An 8.1 rating. A fantastic start to the season. Particularly after going 1-0 down as well. Maybe. I know it's very early days. But could we be making a charge for promotion? Make sure you tune in for the next episode. If you enjoyed this one, give it a like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.